Hi friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I will be guiding you through an exercise on the generative sheet metal workbench and this is the second part of the tutorial series. So we have already created the base wall and the next thing what you need to do is to create a flange. So for creating a flange, firstly go for insert, walls, swept wall and flange. Click on the flange tool and once you're on the flange tool make sure that you're on the basic option here and uh, put the length as 44 as you can see here 44 and uh, in the length type drop down make sure that you're selecting outer length type and uh, in the angle just put 90 degrees and in the radius pinner just make sure that you're in 2 and uh, just keep the spine as it is and click on the trim support and that's all you need to select this as your edge for the flange so that you get the output this way and once you're done just click on OK Repeat this step on the other side of the sheet metal by doing the same step and keeping the same parameters 44, 92, trim support and OK. And that creates flanges on either sides of the sheet metal component which we have created in the first part and that's all for this particular part if you have any doubts please comment below the video and i'll be getting in touch with you if you have any cat projects or if you need any cat project assistance you could write to me at kitsia.pro.user at gmail.com and uh, that's all for this part keep watching and stay tuned